uh, the next few things I'm going to show are just masking your approach. We want the collar drag, but if we can get the other things on the way, then we're going to go for that. So this next one is going to be the same, same type of masking, right? So how am I going to do this? So once I get my collar sleeve uh, position here, I'm going to uh, f like flare, like kind of like I'm whipping a towel. I'm going to get him thinking about, uh, you know, oh shit, I'm going to get taken down or he's going to judo throw me or what, right? So the way, the way I'm holding my grip is fingers on the inside and I'm curling, curling my hand so he can no longer like, it's not easy for him to rip, strip the grip. So this is not enough. You can just grab and pull. Yeah. And I lose it. So I put my fingers in and I'm curling. So it's a, lo it's a lot stronger, a lot buys me more time uh, and stopping him from pulling my grip out. So I'm here. So I already know I want, I want the collar drag. So, but I need to fake, I need to mask it. He's going to know uh, people who compete all the time. They're going to know, right? He's going to know. <laughs> okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start snapping him down, getting him thinking about, uh, you know, maybe I'm going to go, I'm not going to steal Phillips thunder. He's going to go over the foot sweeps, but the next one that I'll show is masking with foot sweeps. Okay. But, this one, I'm just gonna mask it by controlling this hand. I'm going, when, I, when I snap him down, I'm gonna pull a hand to the side, right? Get him, getting him thinking, maybe I'm going for an angle pick, or maybe I'm going for inside, inside leg trick. He doesn't know, right? So once I start doing that, that's the perfect time to start hitting your collar drag. So again, get him moving, fake here, up, and then I, that's, my, that's my signal to go for the collar drag, okay? So I'm, I'm showing this kind of fast, but I'll, I'll slow it down a little bit. So the key here, uh, and this is something that he, that I learned from watching uh, Guy Mendez, what he does is he snaps, gets the arm across, so now you don't know what I'm going for. I can drop down here, go for the ankle, inside ankle, all that. But what's his natural reaction? Once I get him down here, he wants to posture up. As he posture up, that's when I go for my, um, collar drag. And if you notice my feet placement, I didn't have to step out here to telegraph what I was going to do. Okay. You watch my feet and go here. And as soon as he pops up, I can just drop down and go. So it masks your feet, right? A lot of people who are good at collar drags, they're looking for this. They're looking for the opponent to do this movement so they know it's coming. Okay. But here I mask it by stepping this way. He's going to come up now I'm already in the perfect position. Just drop and go. So I redirect it by moving my feet the opposite direction. Him standing up already puts me in that, that angle that I need to hit this. Okay. So one more time. Again, you gotta be you gotta be forceful with this because you don't want them to know that you're going for a collar drag. You want them to think you're going for like snap down. You're gonna snap them down. You're gonna go for an ankle pig or something like that, right? So snap, snap. Turn here as soon as he postures back up in the perfect position. I drop, and I drop. Okay? So let's do that two minutes and two minutes. Um, again, if you're faking, bringing that arm across, getting them to think as soon as he postures back up, you turn. Okay? Hold that so So, snap. This goes here. As soon as he postures back up, he like brings me into this plane this way. That's exactly what I need, right? So here, posture's back up. He brings me where I need to go. Boom. And I drive this up. Okay? So let's do that. Two minutes and two minutes. One, two, three.